Hi there YouTubers and 3D Studio Max lovers. Today I was scrolling into my LinkedIn and at one moment I found this render which is uh, looking very nice. But yeah, I have some comments about this render. This render is made by this girl, Paula Zdro, I guess. And uh, she did a very good job. But today I'm going to show you how to improve your renders. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this render and open it in Photoshop. First of all, I just want to say a couple of things about this. You don't need to follow me. This is just my opinion about how a render should look like. And yeah, don't take it personally. And please excuse me if uh, I'm going to make it better or less better or I'm going to say good or bad things about your render. So first of all, uh, let's start. This is the render. The quality is quite bad. I don't have the full resolution of the image. But um, yeah, this is good enough for the lesson of today. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going here. And as usual, I'm just going to use a camera raw filter. And the first thing that uh, you need to do, because this is a night render, so you need to take that in mind, it's night. And this looks not really like a night, it looks quite washed out. So that's a problem because as you can see here, these are the darks and these are the brights. So this line here, all these lines here, they should end exactly on the left side and this here should end here on the right side. So to explain all of that, I'm just going to go here and apply some curves and you're going to see better. So I'm going to apply the curves. Curves or levels is the same thing for me. So the thing is that this should be more around here to have it more dark and the light yeah it's the light the problem is that in my opinion this is more or less a night shot so as you can see only by doing a couple of small adjustments you can improve your renders really really fast but uh, this is not the point of uh, this so i'm just gonna go back off with my camera row filter so the first thing that i'm going to do i'm gonna go down with my exposure and then i'll go with the black slower as you can see and now it's much closer to what we need i can go now a little bit higher with the exposure i can add a little bit of contrast the highlights as you can see are already burning the image and this is a really good thing because this is what's happening also in reality you have a lot of light coming from the inside also here should be a little bit more light but we can also adjust that i'm gonna add a little bit more of the highlights only for this area it's also going to burn the inside but uh, I'm totally fine with that. I'm just gonna try to go less with the shadows because being night, you don't have, you don't see that much in the shadows. And by going with the highlights higher, as you can see what I did here, you can go with the whites lower so you can turn the whole, the whole image down a little bit. Then if you want the image to have it more blue like this or more warm like this, that depends on you. Uh, for me, I think it should be a little bit more blue. The night is quite blue and especially during the winter, you can see that much more than during the summer because you have all this white that it's in the image, which is the snow and you can see that much better. Okay. So let's see, this is what we had in the beginning and this is what we have now. So I think it's already much better. I will add also a little bit of texture to it. This is going to improve the image. As you can see, even though it's a shitty image that I took uh, from, uh, from LinkedIn with a crop, it's already looking better. I will not use it that much. And then I will add also a little bit of clarity. And let's see, this is the original image and this is now. With the vibrance, I can go a little bit lower if I want, if I think it's too much blue, but for now I think it's totally fine. With the curves, yeah, you can, there is no need to play with the curves anymore because you already played here with the exposure, contrast and so on. So this is going to, when you play with all of this, this is affecting also the curves. So for example, if I close this and add the curves and I play here with the curves, add some lights and make an S curve in here. And now I close this, I, you can see it's, it's not the same as before. So this is also changing the image. Yeah, you can, if you want to have an S curve, you can play just a little bit, a small, small difference. I know you can have three here and minus three here. 
it's good to have a nice curve it helps a lot the image it's not a big difference as you can see and then we add some detail with a sharpening color noise or noise reduction you can use it only if you have a noisy image otherwise it doesn't make any sense in the color mixer yeah i don't need to mix anything right now because i think it's everything looking good and with the color grading you can change the grading of the image so for example i can change the color of the lights if i want because these are the highlights so i can make them more orangey or i can then make them purple blue even blue green yellow and so on so this is quite powerful tool right now they are quite yellow i can add a little bit of more orange to make them warm inside so in the moment that you're going to look at this image you're gonna say oh it's i would i'm outside and i would like to be inside that house so this is totally fine there is another thing that i can't fix it here anymore but it's good to take that in consideration i talked about that also in my renders the light that you have on the inside the temperature of that light should be different than the one that you have outside so these two should be totally different this way you get a more realistic image but anyway i will just leave it as it is for now geometry yeah i think it's the image is vertical let's see yeah it's good i don't see any problem the horizontal horizontally i don't i can't do anything on the effect so oh, yeah you can add a little bit of grain if you want this is used the grain effect is coming from uh, film photography where you get it from the film so if you want to get closer to a film photography view you can apply a little bit of grain uh, this helps the image all the time to be honest and in calibration yeah i'm not gonna work uh, with the calibration so this is my image i'm gonna make a control a control c and go control z and create another layer add the image in here so this is before this is after so before and after uh, of course here for example she made also the moon and you don't really see the moon this is actually correct in reality if you take a photo during the night and you try to have also the moon here to see the moon in here it's not going to happen because the moon is going to get overburned but sometimes it's nice to cheat a little bit and try to make uh, the moon also here so to do that you can just go to your uh, browser and moon and go to pictures and yeah just grab one of these images download for free uh, you don't need such a big image like this one because yeah our image is quite small i would just open the moon in a new file i'll make a selection here object to a selection tool and i'll just take this with ctrl c ctrl v and i should have the moon here which is very huge resolution as you can probably see um, i will just make it smaller and i will just move it in here yeah the only problem is that we don't have a, a mask for all these trees in here to make it uh, more realistic but yeah i will just try to make a selection so uh, let me see if i can do this it's gonna work not really but yeah i will just use a mask for this and with a brush i will just try to paint a little bit these trees but it's just a couple of pixels unfortunately so i don't know how good this is going to look because when you do these kind of things you need very high resolution images and now we have the moon in there our moon and it's behind the trees which is perfect and now we need to apply to this moon um, some curves because as you can see it's not lit enough as the background so to do that you can go oh sorry you need to go here and you can do this and now as you can see it's getting there or you can just do this and play a little bit with the curve creating an s curve in there and it's getting there it's almost perfect but what is missing right now it's an inner glow and an outer glow so to do that i will just double click on my layer and here i will just use an inner glow as you can see the moment that i did the opacity to maximum i can already see it and i can just change the size of this glow use less of the opacity yeah unfortunately i can't play too much with the size because the image is very low resolution but that's i think it's already looking good now it's totally white you can change this to a little bit more blue color so just pick up some blue from here and uh yeah it should be better and let's create also an outer glow like this this also needs to be quite bluish 
like this and you can uh, spread it no, the spread needs to stay like this around here and the size can go higher as you can see and with more or less opacity yeah the position is not exactly there but it's definitely making a difference in the image because uh, yeah it's making everything to look more dreamy more uh, storytelling if you see the moon even though in reality i mean with your eye you can see the moon there but our eye you need to understand that it's a very amazing photo camera so we don't have photo cameras today that are matching the power of our eyes there is no such such a thing yeah we don't have so many megapixels or we can't see so far away or whatever but, but the power of our eyes is how fast they are moving and how they are adjusting so fast to the new environment so this is quite a powerful thing what we have so take care of your eyes they are the best thing that you can have so as you can see this was the lesson of today it was just a simple tutorial about this uh, about this uh, uh, the render who's making a very amazing job and if you guys want in the future to to review your renders please send them to address below i'm gonna leave an address where you can send your emails so yeah, please uh, send me your images to my email so I can make a review to them and I can just tell you what to do to make them better. And until then, see you in the next one. Bye.